In this video, I'm gonna be covering the top 10 ways that you can use ChatGPT, which is an AI or artificial intelligence, to start or grow your online Amazon business or your physical product. Let's go. Number one is gonna be product ideas and niche ideas. By the way, I will have all of my prompts listed down below so you can copy and paste them. However, feel free to work on your prompts and create your own because the more specific you are and intentional with your prompts, the different the results that you're gonna get. And here you can see I asked ChatGPT, can you give me 10 categories that would be good to start my Amazon business in? I would like them to have the opportunity to scale by adding more products within them and also be products that could be promoted via influencers and on TikTok. And here you can see it spit out 10 different categories. Number two is gonna be keyword optimization. So once you find a product and you're ready to create your listing and start running advertising, you're gonna to wanna to know the keywords. So let's go ahead and have ChatGPT help us optimize some keywords. So we're gonna go ahead and use the beauty in skincare niche, okay? And let's just say that we're using a bar of soap is gonna be our product for our example, right? So I'm gonna go down here and say, please create me a list of short form, long form, exact match, broad type, and phrase type keywords for a handmade bar of soap that I can use for my Amazon listing and PPC. And now here you can see that it's gonna create you and it's gonna actually categorize short form keywords, one to two words, long form keywords, three plus words, exact match keywords, broad match keywords, phrase, uh, phrase match keywords. And you can even go ahead for a bonus and say, give me 10 additional negative match type keywords so I don't waste money on PPC for the product handmade soap bar. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna create you 10 additional negative search type keywords. So liquid soap, shampoo bar, dish soap, candle, lotion, shower gel, bath bombs, toilet soap. You don't wanna be spending money on these keywords if you are promoting a handmade soap bar. So now we have long, short, phrase, broad, exact, and even negative. And by the way, it doesn't just stop at 10. You can say, create me a list of 10, 15, 25, 50, 100, as many as you need. And you can say also, continue to make me an additional list. Next is gonna be using ChatGPT to go ahead and create a better listing or refine your listing. So let's say that this is my listing and, that, and the listing that I have, or it can also be a competitor's listing. I'm gonna to go to ChatGPT, pop up ChatGPT, and I'm gonna say, create me a better Amazon listing. And then here you can see it's gonna actually take that listing. So if this was my listing, it's gonna take this listing and it's gonna create an Amazon listing for you. And here you have the product title, you have the key features, you have the bullet points, you have the product description, you have additional information, and then it's giving you ideas for what images you should use. Now that's if this was your own listing and you wanted to enhance it. If you don't have a listing, say, create me an Amazon listing using inspiration from the competitor I will attach. Use my branding, Josh's Soap, and make sure to use our keywords you gathered above. It's literally gonna go ahead and create an Amazon listing using inspiration from my competitor, using my brand name, and also using the keywords that we came up with up here. All these keywords that it came up with, it's gonna go ahead and filter all that in, and then it's also gonna give you, because it can't generate images, it's gonna give you ideas on what images to do. So what I like to do is I, look, I like to literally upload my competitor's listings, and you can use this all different types of ways. You can say, come up with the commonalities, come up with the differences, how could you improve it, what do you suggest that I add, and ask it as many questions as possible, keep going down that rabbit hole, and then keep adding to it, building to it, and refining it, and now you can have an A-plus listing that is optimized, keyword-rich, that is gonna crush your competition. Next is gonna be key insights. So here you can literally say, ChatGPT, give me key insights into how I can offer a, bot a better product then, and then insert the competitor. And now what it's gonna do is it's literally gonna give you constructive criticism and feedback, and it's gonna tell you how you can crush your competition. Here goes literally 14, 15, 15 different ways that you can crush this competition. And again, I uploaded the exact URL to my competition. Here you can see, uh, scent profiles, customization options, 
premium ingredient options, uh, friendly packaging, limited editions, educational content. These are all different ways that you could implement that they're not executing on as to the point where you could offer more value and absolutely crush them. Next is gonna be customer engagement. So I simply went ahead and I asked ChatGPT, how can I use ChatGPT for customer engagement for my Amazon business? And here it's gonna show you all the different ways, customer support, personalized product recommendations, post-purchase support, abandoned cart recovery, FAQ, FAQ and tutorials, product information, order tracking, feedback collection, promotions and discounts, cross-channel integration, and more. I'm not even gonna read all these different ways, but it's absolutely insane. And let's just say that we're gonna use it for customer support. Let's go back to Amazon. Let's go back to this example that we're using. We're gonna scroll down to reviews, okay? We're gonna go ahead and click on one-star reviews. Now, here goes the one-star review, okay? I'm gonna copy this one-star review, and I'm gonna go back to ChatGPT, and I'm going to simply say, create a response using empathy and great customer support with the goal of keeping the client and fixing the issue. And then I'm gonna simply go ahead and paste the negative review, and then I'm gonna put it in parentheses, okay? And then now what I've just done is I've just uploaded the negative review and I told ChatGPT to create a response using empathy and great customer support with the goal of keeping the client and fixing the issue. And here you can see it literally just created a like well thought out multiple paragraph response. Many of us know if you've ever done customer support for yourself or anyone else or any business, you're not writing one, two, three, four, five, six paragraphs. You're summarizing it in one paragraph. And here you can see, I wanna start by extending my sincerest apologies for the experience you've had with our product. I truly appreciate your feedback as it helps us identify areas where we can improve and ensure that our customers have the best possible experience with our products. I'm generally here to help and blah, blah, blah. I'm not, I'm not gonna read this, but here you can see how helpful this is and you can do this right now for yourself. So you don't have to even go hire a VA for customer support. When you're starting, you wanna put all of your money into product development, launching new products, PPC, average advertising and getting reviews and you want to use chat GPT because it's absolutely free okay once you get up and running and you have some revenue coming in some consistent sales you can hire a VA and then you can train them on how to use chat GPT to do this and it's gonna make them dangerous especially because the majority of uh, VAs are not primarily domestic they're overseas and English is not their primary or first language number six is gonna be PPC campaigns now we talked about having uh, chat GPT create keywords we can literally go ahead and put in reports we can literally upload reports from PPC from Amazon or Facebook or Google or TikTok or from wherever we're running and say hey can you optimize these bids what would you suggest doing and you can literally start to feed that data to chat GBT and it's gonna start to give you suggestions like change these bids change these keywords try this try that and that will literally help you get better at purchasing or managing media if you're doing it yourself if you're not and you're having an agency run your media you can literally upload those reports and you can try to come up with some additional ways that you can increase your Amazon PPC campaigns or any other PPC campaigns as well. Now, number seven is gonna be inventory management. And here you can see it literally spit out 14, 15 different ways that P uh, ChatGPT can help you with inventory management, from inventory status updates to return and refund handling, all the way to price optimization and inventory auditing. So make sure that you literally are implementing this wherever you need help with or whatever you're not doing to make sure A, you don't run out of inventory, make sure B, you're on top of inventory, on top of inventory for forecasting and see that you make sure that you're ordering the right amount of inventory and you're optimizing your inventory. And you can even ask ChatGPT, hey, I'm trying to lower my inventory um, cost. This is the cubic dimensions or this is the cubic volume. This is how many units I'm ordering. This is what I'm getting. This is where it's coming from. Do you have any ideas? And it can literally articulate and brainstorm with you to see if there's ways to save on logistics. So literally, ChatGPT is only as useful as you use it. If you're giving it lame prompts and short non-depth prompts it's gonna give you lame short answers but if you really articulate and you go down a rabbit hole and you refine and you optimize and you you feed the machine learning it's really gonna give you some impactful assistance and it's gonna give you some guidance that's gonna help you optimize the entire process now next is gonna be customer service and we've already talked about how you can use like how you can literally copy the good or the bad reviews put it in the chat GBT and ask for a response and kind of the cadence of the response and how you want it to sound and it will do that but here's a few different different ways, literally 18 different ways that ChatGPT can help you with customer service from 
um, being available 24 seven to technical support, to payment issues, to size and fitting assistance, to complaint handling, out of stock notifications, and the list goes on and on. Literally 18 different ones here. So again, all these prompts will be available down below in the notes and ChatGPT is free to download. So you wanna definitely make sure that you're identifying which area of your business start to finish, starting or scaling, so you can use and implement this AI software so you can literally get to the next level. And if you're neglecting this, Trust me, your competitors are not and they're going to crush you. Number nine is gonna be expansion. So I simply asked ChatGPT, what markets can I expand into for my handmade soap business? And here it's literally showing you 15 different ways from charity initiatives to collaborations to CBDs or specialty soap lines to collaborative gifts to subscription boxes to wholesale. There's tons of different ways that you can expand and you can vertically integrate and horizontally integrate. So if you do not know, remember the more you learn, you get to remove the L and the more you earn. I love ChatGPT for research and for brainstorming ideas. So you wanna constantly be thinking about growing and there's only a few ways that you can grow your Amazon business or your brand. You can spend more on advertising, you can expand into new markets, you can expand into new products, and you can grow or scale that current product that you have, right? So be constantly asking it questions and bouncing ideas off of how can I grow, how can I optimize, how can I refine, and how can I scale? And last but far from least is going to be helping you with your brand strategy. Now, ChatGPT can help you with any strategy from marketing to branding to packaging to shipping, you name it. However, when it comes to creating your actual brand and creating your actual strategy, I simply asked it, create me a brand strategy, including name, slogan, logo, color, and origin story for my handmade soap bar business. And here you can see it comes up with a brand name, right? Name is Natural Natura Suds. Slogan, pure natural you. Logo, it gives you, it gives you information and guidance around the design. Color palette, it's literally giving you the color palette to use. And then origin story, it's giving you an origin story about how it was designed, why it was designed, and so on and so forth. So I gave this no context at all, guys. If you know a little bit about the mission and vision or the mission and ministry of your brand and what you want it to be about, what you want its sole purpose to be about, if it's coming from you or your family or your friends or a loved one or from an idea, the more context you give it, the more substance you give it, the better the response that you will get. So these are just 10 different ways. And guys, if you're in the AMZ formula or, or any of our programs, I literally have an entire AI course that I will never sell. It's only available to people in the AMZ formula or any of my programs where we literally have dozens of these. And I go into great depth where I'm showing you what prompts to use, how to use AI, and I'm currently using it in my business. And I'm telling you, if I would have had AI in 2015 and 16 when I got started, I would be light years ahead of where I am right now. So the sky is the limit and hopefully this video expanded your thought process on how you can use AI and how limitless the opportunities are to use AI. And literally you can use it for website copy, you can use it for sales copy, you can create blogs with it. You can literally go to Median and create a free Median and now have a blog where you have a daily blog. You can start to create an email list and do a daily newsletter where ChatGPT is a copywriter for you. These these are high ticket expenses where if you're gonna go hire somebody to manage a blog and go hire a copywriter and go hire a VA and go hire a customer support person, this one software and minutes of your time during your spare time can literally replace five to 10 plus employees, save you a ton of money when you're getting started, and most importantly, help you be more effective and more efficient. Hey, I hope you got value in this video. If so, smash that like button if you're not subscribed because my team, they told me like 94% of you guys watching aren't subscribed, just hit the red button right now. Make sure it says subscribed. It helps the channel out more than I can express. And make sure you have notifications on because every single week for the last three years, we've uploaded content every single week to help you increase your income impact influence and help you start, grow, or scale your very own brand. And remember, you're only one product away. See you in the next video.